very good Allah Dalit in all his area turn. In the Rambam, this Allah will explain that the Navi will say, and it won't happen, even though he's supposed to be able to tell us everything. But the Aponius, when it comes to terrible things, Shanavi Aima, the Navi states, going that he says, so and so will die, or or there will be a hunger, or a war, or things of this nature. If it did not happen, so there is no, this is not a denial of his uh, prophecy. And you don't say here, he did there, he spoke, and it did not happen. So we'll go down to the Pirush. And the reason why it didn't happen is because I got to who we find Yoel 2.13 and Yoyna 4.2, Er Hapayim. He has long, he controls anger for a long time, but Rav Chesed does much charity. The Nicham, <coughs> and will at times I regret bringing the evil. It could be that people repent, repent that the person was supposed to die, and it's not them, it was forgiven to them, like the people of Ninveh, that uh, because Yoyna admonished them, and even though he told them 40 more days and Ninveh will be overturned, it was not overturned because they, did, they repented. Or he waited, like by Chizkiyo, that Yishayo told him, tell your, your household you are going to die, and uh, you will not live because you didn't marry anyone, you didn't have children, even though he was afraid to have children, because he knew they were going to be wicked. But since he prayed and he did tshuva, and he married a wife, and uh, added to his life 15 years. If the Navi said the name of Hashem on a on something good, he said, This is what will happen. And the goodness did not arrive. You have to know that he's a false Navi. Any good thing which God commands, even if it was on condition, does not come back. Now, like Dhamma to the explanation of the Mishnayas. Ramam brings the source from that from the Gemara and Brokhas 7a. Oh, I'm Yerach HaMashem Abiyasi. Abiyasi said the name of Abiyasi. Every word that came out from Akkadish Brokhu was for good, even on condition, it never went back. And they were proofed from Moshe Abayn and Akkadish Brokhu told them after the Eagle on Tvom 914, Herif, be many, leave me alone for a moment, I will destroy them, and I will make you a nation. And Moshe Abayn ask mercy they shouldn't destroy your soul and he was answered and then the edict was nullified but the brocha what we do find in his seed shanama says that the children of moshe were gershom and the children of achavio became very multiplied in greatness. More than Shishim Ribu. In fact, the Gemara says that the children of uh, of, of Moshe Rabbeinu were confined here in Mitzrayim. We don't find that he could have broken reneged on a good thing, Ella before Mauritian. Only by the destruction of the first temple, at that time he said that Tzadikim would not die with the evil, the Choza, and Kodesh Baruch Hu recanted on that with his words. With them, the Torah of the Shabbos, as we find in in the Shabbos, 55a. You have to see some take this out because it seems. That it's not from the language of the Rambam, because he doesn't mention the source of Hazal, so it must be somebody else. But there's a question here if Akash Bohu changed the good after he promised the Sadiq they won't die, and they died. So, so Mishnah writes that still it's not, it's not abundant to be fine, it only happened one time. We'll see a few other instances 
Yeah, we are good people who who can't it from goodness. Who she Yemio which we also the Hanania Ben Azor. That's what I mean Yemio said in his answer the Hanania Ben Azor was a Novi, a true Navi, and then he became a false Navi. When Yemio said that he was going to be destruction and exile from Israel to Bobo, so he Hanania Ben Azor said prophecy there won't be. And that the big the clay Migdosh that would were already in Bobo would come back. Amal Yemio said to Hanania, to Hanania, Loyamit Voim, Ambas the Raya Shani Novi Shoka. If my evil tidings do not happen, there's no proof that I'm a false prophet. But if what you say does not happen, then then everyone will know that you are a false uh, prophet. Shinema, because it says, Ashman was at the Vazer. Yemio said in 28, 7 to 9, listen to this thing, words. Hanova Shidavi Sholoim, the boy of Anovi, Yudea Anovi Ashitoha Hashem Emes. Anovi speaks peace. When, it, when it, that thing happens, uh, the, that the prophet predicted, uh, it's known that the Novi was sent by Hashem. And if it didn't happen, it's proof otherwise. So why sometimes doesn't it happen? Now, if we forward to the explanation of the Mishnah, is the Ramam goes back on this uh, rule that the prophecy for evil cannot happen. A, a, a prophecy of the Torah for good does happen. He repeats it. And he, he questions why was Yaakov Avinu therefore afraid when he said in Gracious 32 7, uh, uh, who knows what will happen to me? I could have promised him, I will watch over you in Gracious 28 15. I will watch at you, over you. And the Rambam answers that the rule is that Gracious does not repent from good. Is only when it's for others, not to the person himself. And here, that's the only way you can know if it's a true novi or a false novi. Otherwise, uh, it would not be able to be known. Therefore, with that, that's why it happened or it didn't happen. But we, when, when it is regarding the novi himself, the set prophet, like the Yaakov, regarding himself, yeah, he, he doesn't need to know to himself because he knows that God spoke, spoke to him and he realizes that the, his sins caused him to nullify these goodness that was supposed to come. But the old Mizrahi questions on this differentiation. He doesn't mention the name of the Rambam. But my God told me so when they come in the days of Ezra that they will come in like the days of Yeshua with great strength. But the sin uh, mitigated this and they came in <coughs> only with the permission of Kairish. As we see in Brochus Dalad A. Because in Oz Yosha we say, Adi Avraham Hashem, Adi Avraham Zukaniso. The second time, the first time means when we went to Dead Yisrael the first time with strength. The second time was supposed to be by Bobo. So you see that even a prophecy for others can be nullified. Therefore, he explains that the prophecy, the promise to Gun. She will not be changed totally to bad, even if the sin will cause it. Because they did have the second temple, but it wasn't in the same in that uh, opt optimal fashion that they could have had it. Kemoi, as we find also in the days of Ezra, the would go did not go in with a strong hand as, as in the days of Yeshua, but not that they didn't go in at all. No, there's another answer is just similar with their aim in the Radak right in Yemio 28 7. That even a good prophecy, even if it doesn't come with completeness, but partially it does come like when they came into the show in the days of Ezra, but not with strength. This was the warning of Yemio to Hanani ben Azor. If nothing will happen, that proves you're a false witness. Maral and Guraye. Courageous 32 7 disagrees with the Radak and the Amy writes that there's no proof, there's no source or root or branch to what they say. But the Ram writes that it won't, even if a small part won't happen, it won't be a, a, a valid prophet. According to the Radak and the Aim, it could be that the majority 
does not happen, something happens, then he would be considered a true uh, prophet. According to the Maral, there's a difference between a promise of a Novi with a prophecy from Hashem that it must happen, and a good Novi can't, and therefore they are usually in the past tense, as if, as if it's already happened. But a promise they, which is going to be given because the merit could change if there won't be merit. Like the morale, with the words of the morale, uh, we still don't understand the opinion of the Rambam in his pre preface to Mishnayas, where he makes a differentiation if the proof was for the knowing himself, but was for others, and didn't make uh, this differentiation between a promise and a prophecy. Ram Chaim tries to explain the words of the Rambam in a different fashion. A Novi, the, the prophecy that they would enter at Yisrael in the time of Ezra, like in the days of Yeshua, was said by the time of the crossing of the Red Sea, that they were elevated to the level of prophecy. And they would they said, until Hashem, until your nation shall share a cross over Hashem, until this nation that you acquired. Therefore, it's it's considered a prophecy for the people of Israel themselves, and that can be nullified as according to the Rambam. But that's difficult to say that that's what the Rambam means. So he says, even if it did not happen a small amount, we know it's a false proof prophecy. Therefore, when it's a good prophecy, uh, even if something small didn't happen, you should know he's a false prophet. Lacha Mishnah, he goes in a similar vein to the explanation of the Mayim Chaim, and he writes that the whole rule, like which Bobo does not recant, is only when it, it's written and stated from Hashem. But Adiyav Am Hashem is as if it's spoken from Moshe Rabbeinu. Because he doesn't write that he was told to say so with Hashem. Rabbi Yitzchok Elchonon Mikuvne, Rabbi Wasserman writes that he wants to explain that the prophecy of Moshe is different than the prophecy of other prophets. What sin does not cause to nullify, we, that it will not happen is when it was given over with other prophets but a prophecy that came out from Moshe Rabbeinu after the fact that Moshe Rabbeinu's voice was the voice of the Holy Divine Presence is not called a promise but it's a definitive st statement I find a question on the Rambam from Yemio 18.7-10 uh, says that I'll speak one moment about destroying somebody, and if they do repent, I will recant. And one, I will speak about somebody to do something good, and they'll do evil, and at that moment, I will not do good. So you see that Yemiro says specifically that Akashibogu can re, re, recant even on goodness. And not like the Rambam says that Kodesh Baruch does not change his mind when it comes to goodness. However, the Mayim Chaim says that it's in the beginning of the Aloha, that what Kodesh Baruch does not recant is only if sin does not uh, cause a change. If sin causes a change, then it can be changed. It can overturn from good to bad. More of the Avid's questions. Yemi Anovi himself said, uh, to the false war of prophets, Hananim Azur, that his <coughs> his prophecy is true, which has to happen, and that would seem to contradict what he says over here. And the Abbas explains, the Kodesh Bobo does not go uh, go back on what was supposed to be good, even if uh, they did not bring their actions up to the point where they should receive it. But if they went down, then it could be that Kodesh Bobo would punish even when he said he would bring good. According to Adak, there's no question because the, the prophecy to build and to plant <coughs> tells us what, what happened to that nation. 
And uh, since they have destroyed their ways, it's taken away from them the good which there was already get, given to them. But now it's not a prophecy in the future. It's not a base uh, differentiates. There's two types of, of edicts for good. When a person or a nation do good deeds, and when Jehovah says that they should have something good, he doesn't go back from that edict. But I mean, a sinner that was uh, supposed to be punished and get shuvah, and the punishment was reduced, that could change back to evil. It will go back to his evil ways. Therefore, an edict that was first for good and Agrajbal did not recant, but a, that will never be changed. But an edict that went from good from bad to good and now it's reverting there it could happen again that's why the Gemara says <laughs> never had something good to begin with go out and we can't but says <laughs> when it comes to evil I'll say that they and it will, we can't and then I will be consoled and change my mind, but then he goes back to doing it, then I will <coughs> punish him, and that's why it can happen, because it was originally supposed to be punishment. Thus we see many clarifications when I go changes to goodness. According to the Rambam, that the prof that the prophets for uh, and prophecies for others will Akashbo will not recant, but for the prophet himself, Akashbo can we, we can't. The Radak and the Ra'im question Miyakov. He's afraid of uh, sin and that the promise to him will not be fulfilled. And that is to goodness, it can be changed. But not totally so. Totally so. Some of it must happen. The morale disagrees. Differentiation differentiates between a promise that could be changed to, to, a, to a prophecy that cannot be changed. Mankhaim, explain that a promise uh, to go back in the times of Ezra with strength did not take place because when Israel themselves said the prophecy about themselves and the pro and a promise through a, through a prophet can not be not it can change or not happen like the Mishnah wrote that the prophecy that said from Moshe Rabbeinu is not said that Hashem said it uh, can be changed. Rabbi Yitzhak Yochanan writes, uh, Moshe was different from Shahanavim. That's why it could be changed. Uh, and the later commentaries question from Yemiyo that it says that Kodesh can change. And the Yavid says that if they cause their ways to be uh, wayward, then Kodesh uh, can recant. What it writes, says that it does not change its ways if they do not go in the proper ways. The, according to Redak, there's no question because, and according to the Beis Halevi, we're talking about that to begin with, they did tshuva, and therefore the evil was taken away, and then they went back to their evil ways. That that then the promise that it, they were, is not it was originally a bad one, and therefore the goodness that was intermediate could become bottled.